Okay, so this is how we proceed to calibrate the torque wrench. You use a scale, you know what weight you're gonna put on it, which is 28.2 pounds. So we will check also for a add on weight in case we want to calibrate also for a higher weight. So this jack is 24.2. Okay, in order, uh, the setup is uh, you put your torque wrench in a vise. Uh, put the ball, not in the uh, teeth, because you don't want to damage that. Um, the other thing that is very important is you got to have your uh, torque wrench that is, uh, I would say, level or very close to it. Of course, you got to hold it sideways because you cannot see it here and here it's higher so I put some uh, paperboard slightly on the higher point of the block on that side and the lower one on that side because it was not very um, leveled so this is uh, the setup of course obviously also you got to have it level like that that you can eyeball it it's not as critical um, then what you do is uh, there is uh, depending on the, your model this one has uh, one of these cap here and then I was to remove that but I thought I would show you so you remove the uh, Teflon tape to access this is like a set screw with a Allen key there's a counter knot down there if you can see it Yeah, so uh, these are the uh, counter nut and the set screw are used for adjustment. So now I'm going to remove this and I'm going to set the whole thing up and uh, we're going to go from there. Okay, so here's how this goes. You uh, hang up your weight that you know the, the value. You hang it up with a rope on your torque wrench. Then you got to measure the distance from the ball center to the center of the rope right so in this case um, I don't have it in hand exactly but uh, it's about uh, 17 inches so what you do is you take 17 inches you divide it by 12 to know how many foot you have how many feet and then you multiply that value by the weight you're hanging there and the ID is you're trying to you lift it up Now it's not clicking, right? So what you do is you loosen that set screw here until it clicks. You got to be able to click it. My value is 41. Uh, the calculation I made is 41, by the way. So 41 uh, foot pounds. Pound foot, pound feet. So you want to have it at 41, it barely clicks, and at 42, it doesn't click. That's what it should be like. You don't mess with that if you don't have to. Uh, you can just check it without playing with the uh, setting. But in my case, I knew it was not right on that torque wrench, so that's why I'm doing it. Okay, so if you look at it, then you lift it slightly, you release it very gently, and it's clicking. So if we add one more, that should not click enough. See, it doesn't click. If we go back down one, the sound, the sound foot, <coughs> for some reason, the first time it needs a uh, needs to be pushed a bit so uh, 
try to show you how I go with the uh, rate on it. This is uh, what's important is you you lift it up. You try to stop its balancing move. And you just release it. Just like you don't want it to click, and then you, if you go to the second one, 42 pound, pound per foot, pound foot, and now it's clicking, it should not. Okay, so if it's clicking at 42, I need to add some more. Before you do that clicking, 41 should click. It's clicking, 42. And 42 doesn't click. Yeah. So that's the right setup. So then what you want to do, you pick up the slack of the nut, try it again, make sure it's fine. Okay, one clicks. Or you do to not click. So it needs a bit more. So it doesn't click on 42. So 42 doesn't click now. Or you want to click. Or you want to click and 42 doesn't click. So that, that would be the proper calibration. So what you want to do is you want to tie up the nut while you're holding the uh, set screw with the highland key so you don't lose your adjustment. So 42 doesn't click, 41 does click, so 
There you go. This is set. Slightly more, just slightly more. Before you do, double click. Let's see if it's going to click once more. Double click, and then 41. <coughs> So I'm just going to remove this for now. I just want to make sure I lock it properly here. That's the key here. Okay, and then I can lock it slightly more with the uh, ratchet. Okay. That should be good enough, that should not be able to move easily. Yep, that's not. So final checkup. So that's 41. Forty one clicks and then Forty two is not. So this is done. Then it's a matter of just putting back some uh, Teflon tape here around, putting back the cap. This one is calibrated. The uh, margin of error is that when you put weight on it, it's uh, it's shifting down a bit. So the sh the difference in length with the TR recall, or if it's horizontal between the uh, center of rotation and where you apply your force, which is the rope. So the difference in length that this is compared to when the uh, torque wrench is slightly down. This is your margin of error. The other margin of error, the other margin of error would be your uh, your weight. When you weight measure the weight that you're going to put there, this device is uh, the major margin of error. Because as you can guess, we can measure the number of inches here and convert it into uh, feet, and that is um, very precise. So it's not a big deal. So really, it's. Uh, and as you can see, if it's going to go slightly down, the difference in distance from here to the pivot, and once it's slightly down, it's not going to be a big difference. So uh, this is how it's been calibrated anyways. So And uh, one good thing to be done is um, I can uh, add the other uh, weight, which is the jack on it, and check if it's going to click at a higher, uh, higher uh, value of torque. Uh, that should be close to it. It's possible sometimes that uh, you might have variation along the scale of the tool, but uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty much the way it works. Hope it helps. That should not close enough. See, it doesn't click. If we go back down one, just down. Pound foot. <coughs> For some reason, the first time it needs uh, needs to be pushed a bit. So. Uh, I'll show you how I go with the uh, weight on it. This is uh, what's important is you you lift it up. You try to stop its balancing move. 
we just release it. Just like you don't want it to click, and then you, if you go to the second one, 42 pound, pound per foot, pound foot. Ah, now it's clicking, it should not. Okay, so if it's clicking at 42, I need to add some more. 42 doesn't click. So that's the right setup. So then what you want to do, you pick up the slack of the nut, try it again, make sure it's fine. Okay, 41 clicks, 42 to not click. Forty-two. Forty-two doesn't click now. Forty-two doesn't click. Forty-one should click. and 42 doesn't click so that that would be the proper calibration yeah. forty-two doesn't click so what you want to do is you want to tie up the nut while you're holding the uh, set screw with the highland key so you don't lose your adjustment. So 42 doesn't click. 41 does click. There you go. This is set. Yes. It's slightly more, just slightly more. Once more, and then click, and then forty one. <coughs> forty one click. So, I'm going to remove this for now. I just want to make sure we lock it properly here. That's the key here. Slightly more with the uh, ratchet. That should be good enough. I should not be able to move easily. Yep, that's luck. So final checkup. So that's 41.
41 clicks and then 42 should be. Is not. So this is done. Then it's a matter of just putting back some uh, Teflon tape here around, putting back the cap. This one is calibrated. The uh, margin of error is that when you put weight on it, it's uh, it's shifting down a bit. So the sh the difference in length with the TR recall. Or if it's horizontal between the uh, center of rotation and where you apply your force, which is the rope. So the difference in length that this is compared to when the uh, torque wrench is slightly down, this is your margin of error. The other margin of error, the other margin of error would be your uh, your weight. When you weight measure the weight that you're going to put there, this device is uh, the major margin of error. Because as you can guess, we can measure the number of inches here and convert it into uh, feet. And that is um, very precise, so it's not a big deal. So really it's, uh, and as you can see, if it's going to go slightly down, the difference in distance from here to the pivot, and once it's slightly down, it's not going to be a big difference. So uh, this is how it's been calibrated anyways. So, and uh, one good thing to be done is... Um, I can uh, add the other uh, weight, which is the jack on it, and check if it's going to click at a higher, uh, higher uh, value of torque. Uh, that should be close to it. It's possible sometimes that uh, you might have variation along the scale of the tool, but uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty much the way it works. Hope it helps. So hook up the jack as with, uh, as, uh, with the other weight. And check the leverage. The leverage now, instead of uh, being 17 inch and 3 8 of an inch, is now 17 inch and 1 8 of an inch uh, to the uh, from the pivot point up to the uh, rope. That should give a torque of uh, 75 foot pound. Uh, it's barely clicking at 73, so I'm good with that. If I lift it up slightly, oh. let me try to move. I'd rather it to take one or two foot pound more to make sure that it's uh, when I'm screwing a boat, it's gonna be good enough. So if I lift it up, I'm just barely releasing it. Just need a little bit of here. Doesn't take much. So that's pretty good. If uh, it would surely click at 72 if you want to be by the boat. It's taking a bit more. Doesn't take much really. So at 71, it's really clicking. But I tell you, it's not much that's missing. So it's uh, I like it better like that. I like it to slightly over torque by maybe two, maybe two point five foot pound. Then uh, have it too weak. So uh, as I'm concerned, this is pretty good. I'm happy. In order to preserve your uh, your torque wrench once you're done, when you store it, you want to unscrew it and release the uh, spring inside the mechanism. Uh, this is how you store these kind of thing. Uh, 